<laughs> what are your goals? I want to try to remove them and have a smaller butt. Why don't we go in the exam room and take a look? Because the masses are so superficially located that you absolutely can't remove all of them unless you basically amputate the entire- Amputate the whole booty? The whole booty. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not amputating butts. I remember waking up in the middle of the surgery and him doing this at me. He was actually sewing me up. Anesthesia awareness, where you're awake and experiencing the surgery, but you're paralyzed, is one of the most devastating complications in all of anesthesia, and it must be avoided at all costs. When I lengthen the nose and the skin's not great, we could compromise the blood supply to the nose. There's a risk that the skin over your nose can die. I'm in good hands, so. Now, thanks to Dr. Nassif, my nose is longer, it's more narrow, and you can't see into it. Now I feel confident in my restaurant telling my customers that the pork's on the menu, not on my face. I wanted a small D, large C. What size implants do you have in? 750, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's almost the max. They put in much larger implants than you expected. Yes, I was completely unhappy. What are your goals? Large C, small D. Okay. Lift, the lift is really important to me. If we puncture your implants, and suck the fluid out, leaving the bag and the foreign body in there. It's essentially allowing the tissue to chill and to thicken up, wait a bit of time, and then in one stage, go in, take the implants out, close the pocket off, do whatever we need to do, put them under the muscle, lift them up. It may serve our purposes in terms of safety and may allow us to do the operation in one stage. Okay, thanks to Dr. DeBro, my boobs are lifted and off of my stomach and they look amazing. <laughs>